is that the Atlanta Falcons just basically like, oh, they're defensive coordinator. I'm like, this is the team that made it all the way to the Super Bowl, and they're losing both of their coordinators. They, have they, upheaval. they fired him? Uh, yeah, they have upheaval Oof, in their uh, uh, coaching staff, as opposed to the team that's won the Super Bowl, where the band is all coming back together. That's wrong. Let me tell you something and right now. There are 67, 64, 67 million dollars under the salary cap. Dude, how England. do you fire the defensive coordinator? He, he wasn't his fault they lost that game. You put it on Shanahan, if anybody. You put it on Quinn, if anybody. Yeah. What did the defensive coordinator do wrong? And now you're they bringing were on the in, field for 93 plays. And now you're plays. bringing in another offensive coordinator for Matt Ryan after Matt Ryan just had an MVP season. This is going to be really interesting because, you know, Matt's a great player. He's a smart guy. He gets all of it. He can understand all of it. But at the end of the day, there's still that guy on the sideline that's making the calls. Now, you can obviously shoot down all of that because of what happened in the Super Bowl, especially on their uh, second-to-last uh, series when they went to throw when they were already in field goal range. I, I understand that. But um, when you look at the totality of the season that Matt Ryan had and the Super Bowl he played because he played well, um, you know, and now you're up. It's all that upheaval around you. I, 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 I hate it. I hate it. I, just, I can't I wish they fired that guy. Yeah, that's unbelievable to me. Like th th that's their scapegoat. No, I don't think that. I don't know. I don't. I don't think they're making him a scapegoat. I just think it was. It might have been, you know, the writing on the wall. There could have been an, a, a difference uh, of opinion inside. You, you never know.